Hi Leo, welcome to your love reading for April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome or thank you. And thank you. So Leo, we're going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have with a person. So you do definitely have to at least know each other. You don't necessarily have to be together. So whatever your situation is, um, we're going to see what's going on here. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. Please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. It may not even be a reading. Don't try to make it fit. If it doesn't fit for you, then it's not your reading. <clears throat> Hold out for future readings, or you can go back, watch past readings. Links are below in the description box for your uh, love and general uh, readings. I do consider all my readings timeless. So let's see what's going on here. Leo, hope everybody's doing well. Welcome in. Hope everyone's staying safe at this time. So let's see what's going on for Leo. <clears throat> Spirit, please, thank you so much. You can find a lot of information in the description box below, decks I'm using, and where to buy them, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading, if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift. All that info is below in the description box and the pinned top comment. If you don't feel comfortable giving an energy exchange through PayPal, uh, Super Chat is open during the premiere only. And if you do, thank you. So Leo, let's see what, and this can be past, present, or future, however it resonates for you. All right, so this is Zodiac Oracle, so we get a sign, element, or planet. And let's see what we have for Leo. If you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. We have Cancer. So some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If not, totally fine. All right, so Cancer in the Tarot does represent the Chariot, which is about positive movement forward, success, victory, balance kind of energy. So quick energy forward. So we'll see if that <clears throat> pertains to your reading. Or you could just be dealing with a Cancer. All right, let's see, Leo. So the first thing I'm going to do here, Leo, is let's get an opening energy between you and your person, whoever you are thinking about for this reading at this time for Leo Spirit, please. All right. Well, we have the home here, the house, and we have the King of Cups energy, King of Hearts at the bottom there. And the King of Cups does represent um, Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. We have four, which is about stability, structure, foundation. This does remind me, especially with the four in the home of the four of wands energy. <clears throat> So you could potentially be dealing here with a soulmate twin flame. So let's see what the um, four, what the home has to say. Just to read a little tiny snippet because these uh, Lee Norman cards have a little cute um, like riddle to each card. So we have house here. I am your family in your base, your ground, in your home. I give you stability and comfort. I am your living arrangement and environment. I am what surrounds you in your estate. The cards around me will give you signs on my personal state or what the future will dictate. So this is definitely about your home status, your home life. So you could be living with somebody or maybe you could be moving in with somebody. Um, you could be married kind of energy. So we'll see how this plays out. Something about you just uh, <clears throat> stability here, but there is the King of Cups energy there. King of Cups is water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So you definitely could be dealing with a water sign if it's not um, Cancer. So I'm going to pull one for you and one for your person. You on this side, them on this side. How are you feeling about each other in the connection? We'll clarify that energy with the tarot. Look at the current love situation, advice, possible outcome. And then we'll um, look at the bottom of the deck, get more energy there. And then we'll pull some whispers of love at the end. So, oh, wrong way. <laughs> What is <clears throat> Leo's person of interest, whoever they're thinking about for this reading, how are they feeling about Leo and this connection at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Okay. So we have 40 there, and we have, I think that is choice for your person. So you have Leo 41, which is the wishing well, and that is 5, 415 is about change. And they have, I believe this is um, choice, I believe, and 40. So again, with double confirmation of four, which is stability foundation here. Somebody needs to make a choice here on stability, home stability of some kind. 
but you have 41 here which is the well so let's see what the well has to say i believe it's the well <clears throat> for you leo yeah so this could be your energy but if any time during this reading you feel like the these energies need to be reversed or switched if you feel like this side is your person uh this side is you and you are um your person's on this side please feel free to do this anytime during the reading so for you though i'm saying here you have the well i have many symbolic meanings wishes resources creativity and healing if you look intently into the depth of my darkness you may see your true thoughts reflected in your secret wish wishes revealed but your wishes will only be granted if you dig deep and work hard so that could be a change here maybe you need to change on um something here Dorin. maybe you need to work or hard or harder on your home life your partnership of some kind make some changes here and look deep down within in yourself like the depthness of this well this to me is always like a wishing well wishes and dreams coming true kind of energy also so we'll see how this plays out <clears throat> but your person here does have oh it's mask okay this is called mask but i know it's about choices so this is what your person has look deep into your soul for whose amusement do you play i balance the contradictions and encompass the opposites i protect i project your emotions or hide them when i land to your right i bring joy to light but if my presence is to your left then me melancholy is in sight i can be the face to suit any occasion all parts i can play the truth or disguise i am your creation so actually all right i'm getting this confused with another card because it looks like you know different directions but it's actually somebody could be wearing a false mask um somebody could be hiding their true feelings not revealing how they truly feel so that is also about going deep within and how do you truly feel in revealing either wearing a mask or really revealing how you feel and so is like the well is almost that same kind of energy so i'm getting almost the same kind of energy between the two of you with the home there i mean the house you i mean you could be living together or wanting to move in together or maybe you are married or this could be just like i said that twin flame uh soulmate connection kind of energy which would be this does really look to me like the four of wands energy but there is love between the two of you and maybe you both are not revealing re revealing that or wanting to admit that to yourselves that there is this deep soulmate connection that could the cancer chariot energy drive forward with a lot of success balance and victory if you chose to go in that direction leo so let's see what's on the bottom well oh my gosh <laughs> we have the ring and we have the ace of wands which is a fiery passionate new beginning <coughs> and we have <clears throat> 25 there which is seven which is a very divinely guided spiritual um energy fiery passionate new beginning and a ring here which could be an offer of some kind so let's see what the ring has to say which is number 25 ring a precious item is what i am to bind in marriage and commitment i bring harmony and unions as long as negative cards are afar <clears throat> i am the contract and the promise in partnerships and ventures i am the symbol for completion in the form of eternal devotion wow eternal devotion between twin flames perhaps finally digging deep both of you and admitting your true feelings that admitting to your person okay you know my wish and dream come true and the other person saying oh i've been wearing a false mask all this time i really have these deep feelings for you and now revealing <clears throat> these deep emotions and uh admitting wanting eternal devotion or giving eternal devotion wow leo let's see what's going on here leo <clears throat> somebody has to change whether it's you or them i feel for this to happen all right so let's clarify this energy for leo spirit please and i just noticed too leo you are also five and your person is four if they're not cancer totally fine but if your your person has the number four whether they're cancer or not and you have five which you have five here and they have four here that is just crazy five five four four and double confirmation of four there seven over here for divinely guided spiritual kind of path and energy wow okay 
All right. I didn't ask yet. So, Spirit, please, let's clarify for Leo. Leo, Leo. I feel like, Leo, you're either waiting for your person to change or you know you need to make some changes. Either you know you need to dig down deep within yourself and know what changes you need to make. <clears throat> but I feel like your person also needs to remove their mask and also reveal how they truly feel. Okay. The devil. Toxic energy here. Addictions, obsessions, or just negative thinking, low self-esteem, stress, worry, fear, anxiety. But let's see what else we get for Leo. Why is the devil here for their energy? You need to change some sort of either negative thinking or behavior or something here. Yes. Painful, hurtful ending here with the Ten of Swords. Feeling like you've been stabbed in the back. By, maybe you've been stabbed in the back before, <clears throat> in the past. And maybe you never truly healed from that, Leo. That toxic energy still haunts you, I feel, in that well. Like you buried it deep down inside within yourself and you never really recovered and healed from that energy. Wow. All right, so why does... Your person have the mask here. Spirit, please, for Leo's person, whoever. All right, that just fell on the floor. And it may be upside down, I don't know. <clears throat> so Spirit's telling me however I flip it is how it's meant to be. So why is the mask here? Okay, it's in reverse. The high priestess. So your person is not listening to their intuition, their higher knowing. <clears throat> it could be that energy. But the high priestess always keeps to themselves. They're very quiet. But in reverse, it's also about secrets being revealed. But also reverse, they're not really listening to their intuition and their higher knowing and their gut. But they're about to reveal a secret here. So, okay. <sighs> Why is the high priestess in reverse here for Leo's person? That's way too many. Why is the High Priestess reversed for Leo's person? The Six of Wands energy. Success, victory, passionate movement forward. Success. So, a secret's going to be revealed here that they want success and victory with you. They want this to move forward successfully maybe they're getting ready to turn off turn away take off their mask here because wow look at this here is the offer on the the wreath here on the wand and here is the offer so and then we got lucky surprise here at the uh, um under the ring with the clover energy so <laughs> could be a surprise engagement a surprise <clears throat> offer of some kind that could be the secret revealed here, that they're ready to make this offer, removing their mask. But I feel like they're not listening to their intuition as far as knowing when the right time would be. Because I think they, they probably can see and know that you've been deeply hurt by something in the past. And you haven't truly recovered or healed from that and ready to move forward. But I feel like they know they need to wait. But they're not listening to that intention, that intuition. I think they're going to try to move forward anyway, even though they know you're not ready. Now, these could be this energy can be reversed. So if you feel like, you know, your person is in this energy and you're, you know, wanting to move forward and they're not fully recovered <clears throat> from something, then that's totally fine. So that's what I feel. I feel like one person wants to drive this forward, but they know, deep down they know, it's not the right time, but they're not listening to that energy. They're ready to remove their mask, make this offer. They either want to move in higher levels of commitment, uh, even maybe marriage or engagement. But deep down, they know it's not the right time, but they're not listening to that. They, they just want to, <laughs> they want this offer. They want to bring in this offer, even though they know you are not ready for this at all or vice versa. So, so let's look at 
situation here. So we have the Six of Swords energy. So this is coming in under you. So this is about healing. It's about moving forward to a more healing, balancing place and leaving the garbage behind. So that's coming under your side. So, you know, maybe you are in the process of, you know, you see that far away place there is still quite in the distance. So I feel like you're on the path to recovery, healing kind of energy, but you're not there yet. We have six, six. So definitely um, past life soulmate energy here. What do we have here? Well, we have the lovers. <clears throat> so I feel like here, the lovers here, soulmates, twin flames. And I had said that here with the four. So I feel like maybe you do know this is your person, this is your soulmate, this is your twin flame or whatever here. Like you know that. But you're still not totally healed or have moved, totally moved on from something of the past that's weighing you down, that stabs you in the back. You know, it still invades your soul, your memory, your heart. But I think you can see this person in the distance and you know when you get to that place of healing, this is your divine soulmate counterpart to inflame energy. You know that. So you're making a conscious choice. We have six, six, six. Wow. So you're making a conscious choice here to heal in the right direction so you can go and be with this twin flame soulmate. But I still feel right now is not the right time. So we do have the four pentacles between you, which is about holding back from one another. Again, about stability and foundation. Holding back, not letting go, or holding on, not letting go. So I, deep down, you both know you don't want to let go of this connection, but also it's not, it's also about not giving to others either. So it's like it's not the right time to give to the connection, I feel, and you both know that. But at this side here, it's still wanting to come forward, though, no matter what. But um, also, it's not the right time to give, and it's not the right time to let go either. So it's like, don't let go, but it's not the right time to give either, I feel. It's the energy between you. But your person here, now the lovers is Gemini, the devil is Capricorn, the high priestess is Cancer Scorpio. Now we have the king of swords, which could be Gemini, but doesn't have to be. But this energy here is someone having total truth and clarity, open, honest, truthful communication, cutting away things and energies, whatever here, no longer serving them. They're looking right at your energy here. And they know right now is the time to hold back, but they're looking like, I want my lover, I want my soulmate, and I want to move forward with them. All this energy moving forward, though they know it's not the right time. This is clarity. They know, but they're not listening. Because we have the eight of wands. So this is fast action movement forward. A lot of passion, desire, love, lust. Cupid's arrows, taking action, movement. So we have two cards here of taking action, success and victory with that offer. Fast action, travel, communication, love, passion, everything with the eight of wands energy. King of Swords, they have clarity. They know they want you. They want to make this offer. They're ready to remove their mask if they haven't been really uh, expressing themselves. But again, I don't, I don't feel like you're ready or vice versa. However, this resonates for you, Leo. I think your person, your person is just going to move forward anyway. So be prepared for that. If you told them I'm not ready or, you know, this is what happened to me in the past. I'm just not ready yet, but I'm on my way. I'm healing. I'm trying. Um, and maybe you told them, you know, I do have feelings for you. I do see you as my soulmate or whatever here, but I feel like they're coming anyway. So, yeah, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So, you know, this is about a new beginning in love, self-love or spiritual love or <clears throat> brand new beginning in love, emotions overflowing. I feel like your cup, you know, here is, it's in reverse. So that's the energy of, you have to bring this cup upright. You have to rise out of the murky waters of the lotus. Bloom once again like the lotus so you can turn this around and refill your cup full of healing, compassion, and love so you can give that energy to others. If you're not completely healed in your cup, 
is not full of self-love, caring, nurturing, giving, empathy kind of energy for yourself and others yet, then you can't give that energy to somebody else. So that's the advice. If you feel like you're not ready yet for this brand new beginning in love, then that's your advice. Or vice versa. All right. So what else for the advice for Leo? Death. Yeah. You have to let old things end and die and go to the wayside so you can heal and transform. This is all about healing and transformation, letting things end and go by the wayside so you can recover, heal, and trans transform, transcend through that so you can have this brand new beginning in love. So we got Scorpio energy here now. So what else for Leo for their advice? So we have the Four of Cups. So that is about the love offer here. Not sure about the love offer. You see it there. You know this person's ready to give it. They want it. But you're still unsure because you're not completely healed and transformed out of past hurts or whatever here. Oh, too many. Wow. So I did see uh, your energy here along with the star. So let's get one more for the advice for Leo. And that offer is coming in again on their side. So, but two wands being at a crossroads here. Needing to choose a path, a destination, which way to go. So I feel like if you're not ready here, because two is about unity. If you're not ready yet to choose this path of unity about this offer, because you're not completely over healed from the past, then that's up to you here to wait or tell them, you know, don't have any swords here for communication, but maybe just tell them, you know, I'm still not ready. But I feel like they're coming with this offer no matter what. No matter what. I do feel like you do see them as one of one of the paths you want to go down. You know the offer is there. It's at bay. You're looking at it. But still, you're not ready. All right. So let's see the possible outcome possible outcome for you Leo in this connection well we do have soulmate union here between two soulmate union so there will be a soulmate union but I feel like at the right time for you because you're still mentally trapped and bound uh, to things of the past <clears throat> what else here for Leo what else here for Leo for their possible outcome seven of pentacles is about waiting Investing, assessing, analyzing, but waiting, patiently waiting. So yeah, I think the outcome is here. You still have some mental entrapments towards the past or whatever hurt you before that you still need to heal from. So this is waiting. So waiting, but there will be soulmate union. So just know there is, this is a soulmate connection. Soulmate union is here when you are ready to invest as soon as you can let go of this mental entrapment and bondage you still have tied to the past energy or vice versa again however it works for you let's see what's at the bottom the emperor so i feel like somebody will take lead i feel like this person we have aries here will is going to take lead control charge a come forward no matter what but then you also need to take control lead and charge and say look this is the situation i'm just not ready yet and if they are if they love you that much they will wait for you King of Rods, so fiery, passionate uh, energy here, determination. Um, it's going to be Sagittarius. So again, coming forward, a lot of drive, ambition, uh, go-getter kind of energy, uh, passion energy here. Because this, again, Six of Cups is a soulmate energy here. You could have known this person a long time, from childhood, past lives together, soulmate energy again. Queen of Swords. So we have a matching couple here. We do have the King, and now we have the Queen of Swords. So we do have a matching couple. Swords are also my divine energy. King, Queen, Ace, divine energy intervention, shedding truth and clarity. So again, you will gain truth and clarity because I feel like this is you and that's your person. Once you gain the truth and clarity, you cut away people, places, things, energies no longer serving you. Then you're ready to have this open, honest, truthful communication with them. Also, when they come in, here, always having that energy and divine knowledge and knowing for this <laughs> brand new beginning, divinely guided brand new beginning, long-term partnership. This is a lifelong, long-term person for you. Lifelong partnership, growth, abundance for the long-term. 
here. You need to take it slow because you need to lay down. Someone needs to lay down burdens for us with the Ten of Wands. Laying down heavy burdens, no longer serving, and then completely ten ending, one new beginning. So once these burdens are completely erased from your energy, from the past, heal, transform, then we can have this divinely guided brand new beginning for long-term growth abundance. We have the Queen of Swords here, which can be um, Libra. It doesn't have to be. Truth, clarity, honest, open communication. Past life soulmate, fiery, passionate, coming in here, <laughs> going after what they want. King of Rods could be Sagittarius and taking the lead, control, Aries, you, them, here, just taking charge and um, like laying down the law, more or less, on this connection. And if one truly loves the other, one will wait for the other. This, this is a divine soulmate energy here, possible twin flame kind of energy. Right, I don't know why they're telling me to take the top card from here. Strength. Well, that's why. Oh my God. This is you, Leo. Strength. Heaven. You will overcome this. You do have the strength to overcome this or your person. Having strength, endurance, willpower, determination, courage, being brave kind of energy. Rest and healing and rejuvenation. King of Cups, so definitely love and emotions here with the King of Cups energy. And you may not be expressing this at this time. King or Queen, doesn't matter. This can be Pisces. So, wow, okay. That's why they wanted me to do that. Don't you? Normally, I've never done that. Spirit said, pick the deck up again and take from the bottom. I'm like, okay. And there you are, Leo. <laughs> All right. So I'm feeling these two cards. I don't normally do that either. But let's see what we have here. <clears throat> we have little uh, like attracts like. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. We have two, which is again unity. So I definitely feel here you both have similar attraction. You both like each other. Feelings are mutual here between the two of you. And we have here focus on love. Look for good attributes in each other. And it e doesn't even say that. So in each and every person in your life, 24 is 6. Again, with that soulmate past life energy. So let's get one more for Leo. 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 Spend qu some quality time together. It's imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with listening and talking to each other. And we have 46, which is 10, which is about completion and then want a new beginning. And we have that energy also. So I think you'll, you'll be spending a lot of time with this person, um, getting to know each other uh, once the time is right, because time is standing out for me here. So when the time is right for you, Leo, or your person. And at the bottom here, we have 40, be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. And we have 40 again, which is four is about stability, foundation. And this reminds me of the star card. So again, faith, hope, optimism, which is in dreams coming true. And divinely guided energy. Because you see she's looking up here. Divinely guided energy between the two of you. It's like the universe trying to bring you together here, I feel. So you may not be, uh, you, I feel like you're being in the present now doing what you need to do for you. But you're also dreaming of what it would be like with this person because you know, you both know. I feel feel like you both know what kind of connection this is, but someone here is not ready yet. So this will only come together when the time is right. Leo. Leo, if you, you check out my channel, you like my energy, how I read, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get about five readings a month. I'm bringing back spirit messages and I'm also bringing back the singles reading. So, um... Five readings, don't miss out. And if you do, thank you. So good luck to you, Leo. Sending you many light, lovely blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.